A family and a community heartbroken tonight. There are growing demands for justice after a 16-year-old Baltimore student is killed across from his high school. Hello, I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Vic Carter. Right now, police are still searching for two suspects believed to be involved in the shooting that killed the Edmonton Westside High School student and injured four others. Well, we have live team coverage tonight. Jessica Albert is digging into the ongoing crime issues at the shopping center. But we begin with WJZ investigator Mike Helgren and the family's message. Mike? Denise Vick, the victim's aunt, told me she is heartbroken. She has no idea why someone would want to hurt her nephew. She says he was shot more than a dozen times. Family members of Deontay Dorsey prayed for strength at the Edmondson Village Shopping Center one day after the 16-year-old was killed there, just as they prayed last night. Dorsey is one of five Edmondson Westside High School students shot in the middle of the day Wednesday. His aunt wants justice. We are hurt with this senseless crime that has happened yesterday, not just for Deontay, but for all the other children involved. Shortly after the shooting, she told WJZ a staggering number of bullets struck her nephew. I was told he was shot 18 times. And for my 16-year-old nephew to be shot 18 times and no one has reached out to us, we need I answers. I want answers. I want to shout out to all the parents. I, my heart goes out to all of y'all. The teenager's stepmother is devastated. I didn't birth him, but I had him since he was four months old. He didn't deserve this. He was only 16 years old. He was a good boy. He wasn't in trouble. He didn't mess with nobody or none of that. He didn't deserve none of this. The school didn't call. The police never came. We found out through friends, through his friends calling. That's how we found out that my son had been shot. This is not right nor fair. No arrests have been made, and police have released little information about the investigation. The killing happened outside of Popeye's restaurant in the troubled shopping plaza across the street from the high school which the mayor has criticized for serving students during school hours. Skipping school or cutting class during lunch should not result in a death sentence. Former prosecutor Theru Vignaraja represents the family. We want this case to be treated like it was a mass shooting in Canton or Federal Hill or the Inner Harbor. Now, the school remains closed today, but counselors are on hand. There's also a social worker at the nearby Enoch Pratt Free Library. Our live team coverage continues with Jessica Albert. She's at Baltimore City Police Headquarters with more on troubles in the area where this happened. And Jessica, we saw private security here today. What are you learning? Well, I actually spoke with a city council member today, uh, Mike, that covers that district where that shopping center is located. He has heard many concerns from community members about safety at that shopping center. He also tells me that he hopes that renovations could be coming to it soon. 41 calls for service in a month's time at the Edmondson Village Shopping Center. The calls were made for a range of things, including aggravated assault with a gun and common assault. They know where the majority of the crimes are committed. If this is a hot spot, then figure out a way to not make it another, uh, uh, then bring attention to it so that people don't do anything. There are new concerns about the property after five high schoolers were shot there Wednesday. One of them died. Community members want to know if something can be done about the property. There was similar community outrage last month at a gas station near Morgan State University after a shooting killed 56-year-old Albert Stevenson. Baltimore police had been called to that gas station 80 times in 90 days. Police are now scheduled to hold a hearing later this month to see if the business should be closed. At the shopping center, Marcus Dent, a member of the Guardian Angels, a crime prevention organization, says there needs to be more security. Put the cameras up here. Talk to the business owners. They have their own ideas of how you can make things safe. Councilman Christopher Burnett, who represents the district where the shopping center is located, says efforts are being made to renovate it. He hopes it can be sold to a new owner. We've had challenges at the shopping center. That's, that's, I mean, to be frank, it's one of the reasons I ran for office in the first place as a resident of this community, feeling like more needed to be done. He says the mayor allocated $8 million in COVID-19 relief funds to the project and that he and several members of the community have cited businesses for allowing teens to hang out there during the day. We, we we're very much working on this, but these issues aren't e easily fixed overnight. And so, you know, we, we require some patience, um, but it's not something that's, a, that's been forgotten. 
And we did reach out to the city to see where things stand for, with the renovation project for the shopping center. The spokesperson is getting back to us on that. And the council member tells me that he hopes that things will, uh, the renovation could potentially get approved or, or approved in the coming weeks. Reporting live in Baltimore, Jessica Alpert for WJZ.